Holy sh- what? Look at this! Why is he so big? He's a big part in this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh-huh. It's true. We can't just keep waiting around <laughs> like this. Let's go find Catherine and pick up some work so we can at least keep ourselves busy. The robot. That robot. <laughs> oh, it's big. It's big. It's south. Okay. Hey, it's big and it's south. I'm not doing commissions. I don't care. I want to do the story so bad. Two birds. I'll do it every single time in Sumeru. It's my thing. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to our third act of the Archon quest in Sumeru. Super excited for this one. I saw a giant scaramouche on the front. Another thing, I finished editing the Aranada super quest, so we will probably be uploading that on the second channel within a few weeks because it's very big. It's 10 hours long and that's not a joke. Anyway, the night's falling. Let's open the Pokemon pack and get into it. Here we go. Sincho, add a little blue hair. We got him already in game. Petalil, Dano, Teddy Orsa, Feebas, a cute ribbon badge is our shiny cart. Dialga, I didn't even know this thing was in this set. Herb Energy, Rayhan, and Vigoroth. Oh, and a Dream Ball. Oh, that's, there's way more cards in here than I think. It was a decent pack. Okay, quick intermission. 3.1 came out, and with that, two new characters that we're gonna be pulling for. Can't wait. I lose 50-50 on Tignutty, and then I get Sino. I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure, though. Hey, let's go. She's home already. We're vibing. <laughs> she she is like a second Yelan to me, honestly. They give off the same vibe, and I, I love them both. So okay, the flute as well. I don't know what Sino is. I don't know what he does, and that's even more exciting. I feel like about the character, not knowing anything. Oh yes. All right, let's go again. I think I'm relatively close to pity already. If I just get a bunch of Candace, I am, I'm looking golden. This is a three star only. <laughs> Yo, that was a three-star only thingy, and then I got- Dude, I'm actually gonna see Sixer. I'm gonna be Candace main. Okay, purple again. I don't care as long as it's just Candace all the time. Oh, the cookie. Actually, you know what? I like cookie. I don't have her C6. That's- Wait, this banner is so good. This banner is so good. I want Candace, and I want cookie. This is actually a legendary banner. I'm kind of happy the longest we don't get an orange for, because then our chance of getting C6 are just bigger. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I'm getting so many! I haven't had this luck on a 4-star in a, a little while. Let's go again. Okay, I'm not closing my eyes because I want to lose 50-50 and get Tignutty, alright? I still kind of want to do the tech, but... ah. Oh my god, another 50-50. I didn't want this! Where's Tignutty? I'm lying now, I'm a liar. <laughs> Imagine being disappointed from winning 50-50. Man, no Candace, I'm so unlucky. Wow, that was actually kind of cool, seeing the reveal myself instead of seeing it in editing. All right, well, there we go. Very, very good pulls. He looks very cool though. Oh, he's almost got my birthday. All right, awesome. Would you look at that? And, oh, she's so pretty. Oh my God, I love her. Wait, she's full-size character? I thought she was middle size. I like her even more. Either way, super excited. Today's weather is incredibly cozy. I can't wait to get into this story. Let's go. And you got Rosa Sa. <gasps> Oh, the shield bash. Oh, yo, she's so cool. All right, all right, let's get into the story. Cat, what do you want me to do? Like a triumphant hero, that would be me. Honorary knight, a monster, friend of the Aranara, a slayer of demons, and yeah, I still don't have any waypoints, but we probably will, right? Two birds, well, one bird. <laughs> Add Astra Abyssosk. We meet again, you two. I feel so hollow talking to you now, Cat. I know you're a bot. I hate it. Hi, Cat. Do you have any commissions for us today? There's plenty of- I'm not doing my Kumimis today. Commissions, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm, let me think. Well, you gotta think about that. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon mm -hmm. and recite a love poem on stage. What? What? Uh, wait, say what now? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of confused with that one too. And if possible, please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. Okay. Huh? What kind of commission is that? That sounds incredibly awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> the audience would definitely have a reaction. Yeah. I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. Hire Venti. I kind of do want to see it, to be honest. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Eremites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. <laughs> Kat, you're trolling me. Is there nothing to do? Hey, that's not any better. Is that just asking for a beating? Mercenaries and orphanages don't really go well together. Mm-hmm. I 
I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. Why do you want reactions? Uh, Paimon's gonna ask. Jesus. Just who exactly has been submitting <laughs> these commissions to the Adventurers Guild? Catherine's just like, I need some footage from my TikTok. Please, do stupid things. I need to film it. <laughs> oh, the commissioner? Mm, uh. Well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action uh i you know the, the hello was a bit sus i i figured i didn't think nahida i'll be honest i did think something was up <laughs> it so obvious? you're so annoying i was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions that nah, kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often uh-huh ah so it's nahida <laughs> Paimon just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kinds of jokes. <laughs> when did you get into her head? I hate that she's doing this. Add Astra Adasosk? She's been spying on us then. So it's been you this whole time? Well, she said like three sentences. Are you done resting up, Nahida? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways. And I even had a really, really long dream. Dreams? The Akasha can't take away the dreams of the gods. What'd you dream about? It was another dream about the sub Festival. Oh. Except it was a happy one. I feel like last one was pretty happy in the end. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace. Hadisaras? The original? everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. <laughs> they danced round and round, and everyone looked really happy. Cute. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, of course. raised me really, really high above the ground. And I was throwing an endless amount of yalda candies at the children. This is this this seems like you maybe you saw in the future. I feel like this might happen. You know, Nahida, maybe your dream is how the Subzerus Festival really should be. That's what it's we've heard. It's supposed to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate <laughs> your birthday. Oh, Debbie Dunn over here. Yeah, but in reality, it's nothing like that, is it? Huh? Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? I agree. Why I told you. Why are you looking at me like that? Wait, could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? <sighs> Nahida isn't human, right? Nahida's just like some kind of alien that we found in a cave. Like, as goop, maybe. Also, I, I hate that the most interaction we've ever had with Catherine is actually not Catherine herself. No, no! We are pitying you! That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. That's not true. We literally way, we're negative we about it. To visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? Dunny. The Homiani's haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yeah, that's why, not because we were lazy. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Okay. Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elazar is a manifestation of the withering on the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermansalt's own withering. Oh. So we've figured out a way how to cure it. But for officially. the moment, our top focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to yeah. and what they're planning. Both of these storylines are very exciting. Right. Who knows what'll happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Subzerus Festival. Mm -hmm. So our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the sages' activities. Yeah. As for how we should pull that Ooh, off. Let's discuss it somewhere oh, else. Oh, just adventurers. There are too many adventurers around here. Alright. Oh, good point. Uh, sorry adventurers. We're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little while. <laughs> Why would you announce this? <laughs> Dreams, Emptiness, Deception. Chapter 3, Act 3. <laughs> <laughs> where? Oh, this is so far away from where we were originally. Hida, I'm so hungry. Do you have any chop suey? Let's continue our chat here. We moved like three feet. It's like as if I said, okay, guys, sorry, I have an important call to make. You can't hear it. And I just do this. Hi, yeah. Is this the body pillow delivery? Yeah. No, I had to run away because I didn't want my viewers to know, but... I mean, I trust them enough to never tell anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't hear that, right? Okay. So do you have any ideas on how we can investigate the sages, Nahida? Do you have invisibility cloak? I want a character that can go invisible. I thought Actually, Cookie might be, I've but... I've already done a little bit of work on that. Okay. But for now, I want to hear your thoughts. Head empty. One brain cell. Doing the crab dance. Possess a key figure in the academia. Possess a student and infiltrate the sages quarters. Or grab someone closer to the sages and question them. Now, I feel like this she will say, If we do this... They're gonna figure out I'm not one of the key figures, because you know they have very specific behavior. Student could be a thing, but getting caught as a student infiltrating is like, that's super risky. And then someone close to the stage and question them might be the most makes sense one. This one sounds fun though. No 
away. That's too risky. <laughs> yeah, I figured. You mean it'd be too easy to get caught? Yeah, I said that. I hey, I said that. No, it's not. Oh. That. <laughs> we shouldn't involve innocent students. Yeah, in all right, fair enough. A single mistake could completely. I figured that lives. she would say this as well, but I was like, isn't that too deep? That would be ignoring the safety of my people for my own selfish goals. Oh yeah. How is Because stopping the sages is truly selfish. Doing? Nah, that's, a good point. that's not a good Spoken point. Like the God of Temeru. Nah, that's total baloney. They're all not gonna be right. Like I've already tried that, but all the key members of the academia. Really? The core thirty guards. Oh, that's a different reason I thought. Avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. Jeez, okay. It seems that from the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. Of course, it could also be because they're weary of me. Would they know nahida has been doing this? Otherwise, I don't see why they'd be wary. Have you already caught the sage's attention? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. I'm guessing not yet, but this trusting me would make perfect sense if they've ever paid attention to the urban legends about me. Yeah, the revolution, dude. In any case, I probably can't take over their minds directly. Sure. Grab someone close. This was the original one that made the most sense. We're in the dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about the Yeah, so they're all wrong. Any rash move could tip them off and lead to terrible consequences. Oh no. After all, every person in Sumeru City is one of their hostages. Well, we're hostages. Alright, we're infiltrating. Let's go. Think of anything else, Kat. Are we really out of ideas? Maybe you're not. Nahida, you're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. Spill the beans already. Spill the beans. According to a popular theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Academia, mm -hmm. rejecting impractical motions at the beginning of a planning session will give more weight to the actual proposal. Okay. Okay, okay. But aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. <laughs> right. Well, I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, and if I can't oh no, it's our involved, turn. We're getting possessed. It's the I story all over again. Then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. Uh huh. You're saying we should recruit a spy? That does sound like it could work. Okay, so maybe someone new then? Oh, I thought us. Back, we met someone named Al Haytham. He seems like he acts okay. alone, and he likes doing stuff behind the academia's back. <laughs> An hour back. An hour back, Pai Mambo. You don't know that because it's behind our back. But I have a third eye. Actually, I already have someone in mind. Do you still remember that female scholar named Sataria? Yeah, totally. I, I remember her. Sataria. Paima remembers now. Isn't she oh, the one who's always trailing with the blue the hair? Sage of the academia? With the blue hair? Who I called Kaya looking ass, maybe? Wait, she sides against the Academia, but always trails we the Grand ran Sage? Into her basically every time the sub Festival repeated itself. You could even say we're old enemies by now. Well, she was a puppet, supposedly, no? Paimon still remembers the smug and mean way she always... It is Kaya looking ass. Mm -hmm. I've always liked observing all kinds of people. And Sitaria has always stood out from the crowd. Okay. She was born in the desert and was hailed as their greatest genius. Uh-huh. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia. That's pretty cool. It also gave her the opportunity to serve as the sage's assistant. But she wants to turn on them, is what I'm gathering from you. Oh, Paimon didn't know she was from the desert. She must be pretty special then. <laughs> what do you Maybe mean? It feels like most of the <laughs> dwellers around the city are working as mercenaries. Okay. The name Sitaria means star. Oh my god, a consolation. She lived in the desert, she shone like the brightest star in the night sky. Wow. Later on, she was chosen by the sun. The sun, that's us. The star was given a place in the daytime sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. Cool. Soon after, the star witnessed the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. What? It sounds like you're describing Conria. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light up part of the night sky? But in the uh -huh. end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime to cope with her shame. The star buried her guilt and closed her eyes. Oh, no longer a metaphor. Her true thoughts. Oh, no. From the sound of it, Sataria's just hung up on the research opportunities here. Uh-huh. 
But she doesn't really support the academia. She still feels guilty about not doing more for the desert, right? She's just running away from her problems. Oh, that's the worst. Indeed. Pan was mad there. When they are presented <laughs> with complex moral issues, many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. I refuse to do that. She's suppressing a lot of guilt. But before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. She can't deny her part in their schemes anymore. Okay, sounds like the person we need, because then we can make her leak everything and then plead innocence or whatever. Is that how you say it? Sounds exactly like the person we need. Right. We must somehow make her face her problems again. <laughs> Let's start with ruining her psychologically. That's a word. Psychologically. Nahida. No, we couldn't potentially ruin someone's life. Also, Nahida. Yeah, let's trade Sage's accomplice that hates it there. And if we failed, she's probably gonna die. But hey. That way, not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From my past observations, <laughs> kind of Tari will but... take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Okay. Tomorrow afternoon just happens to be a shopping day for her. That'll be Whoa. a chance. Whoa! What a dink Waiting to mechanic? Prepare. Let's go check out some of her favorite spots. Oh. And have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. I love walking around. Let's do it. Look at me. I'm so pretty. I love it here. Oh, it's the cat. The cat lady. The cat future teller. Howdy. This should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling spot. I know. I... So should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No. No, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now is for you to pay attention to the vendor's talking style and key characteristics. Why, are you gonna possess her? What? Okay. Talking style and key characteristics? Yeah. My poor lost lambs. <laughs> Have you become troubled <laughs> over your fate? <laughs> Why is this kid talking to me like this? <laughs> the divine voice of wisdom often echoes between mine ears. <laughs> if thou be blessed today by the gods, I may be able to show you the way. Show me the way. <laughs> Bro, this is official of Sumeru or what? Huh? Really? Nahida, you've been whispering things to her? Shh! Oh, <clears throat> that's what My it is. My friend here has some doubts regarding her future. Can we get a fortune reading for her? Hmm... <laughs> of course, of course! <laughs> In that case... Uh... <laughs> meow, of course. Uh -huh. It Haruti would seem Maruti. that and Marut are quite wary of you. Really? Perhaps, at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the gods. Oh, definitely. I have 100% laughs at Venti. I don't know, Egg's shoes? Egg's shoes are pretty funny. The uh, god of animals, see? questioning the lord of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. <laughs> Do those count? Hmm? <laughs> oh, it wasn't even a meme. Go on, pick an aspect for her to divine. Okay, okay. Prospects in health and love. Ooh. Wow. You know what? I don't even care about the brother anymore. Will we find love into that? Love prospects? Mm hmm. No problem at all. <laughs> okay, then let's go. Um. <laughs> Hum. <laughs> the gods have spoken. <laughs> the truth shall be revealed. Okay. One who is fated to cross your path will appear on. <laughs> on. Huh? So. So many people will fall for you. How could that be? <laughs> I don't know. The quest says true hero. Maybe that's why. Harut. Marut. Did you two spoil my divination? <laughs> I've never read a fortune so absurd. What do you mean? Look at me. I'm so pretty, I'm so cute, and I'm a hero. And an honorary knight, and friend of the Aranara, and many more titles. They're like, what is this person on about? Uh, actually, Paimon thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. That's so arrogant. <clears throat> I admit that the orientation of today's celestial matrix is, uh... Suboptimal. Suboptimal. <laughs> As such, there will be no charge. Wow! M Nabia, Is that thank you. so? Well, that can't be helped. Nahida and if you Nabia. were to bring some Is there a link, you think? for Harut and Marut on your next visit, perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels of fate. Oh, I don't want to reverse that everyone loves me. I'm cool with that. I'm completely fine. Thanks. 
more info needs to be gathered. Ooh. Oh, I, I hope we talk to her as well. She's selling banjos, dude. What are you selling? Pots? Incense? Is this another one of Sataria's favorite stalls? Seems like it. Yep. It belongs to a king. Oh. His father helped Sataria a lot when she first moved to Samari City. Cool. So she still comes by whenever she has time. That's, that's cool. When I start talking with him, listen carefully to the details of our conversation. Okay, I'll try and get the, the predict this time. Howdy. Ah, dear customers. Would you it like is pottery. To look at some pottery? Sure. We caught wind of your great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. I love, I actually love Catherine's voice. Oh, I recognize you. <laughs> Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm in for some big business. Big, big trouble. Speaking of, where did you learn this trade? I, I don't hear anything weird yet. I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. Okay. He's a mason by trade, but sure. I picked up an interest in clay while apprenticing for him. Cool. After that, I began making pottery by myself in secret. And I <laughs> simply changed secret? trades when my works turned out well. Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. Hmm. That's nice. You're making a living doing something Yeah, I didn't get it either. So is your father hmm. still working as a mason? Oh no, not anymore. A few years back, he fell from a roof and broke his leg. Yeah. Since he had already saved enough mora over all these years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Port Ormos nowadays. Fair play to him. I see. We wish him peace and happiness in his retirement. True. I'll have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take care now. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Rest easy. All our goods are sure to meet your every need. Right. I'm not sure what we were supposed to gather from that. That was my first time talking with Miss Catherine. I'm sure I sounded a bit nervous. Yeah. If you knew who I was, you'd be even more nervous. Why don't we get to talk to the banjo sales lady? It's are, These aren't banjos. I don't know what they're actually called. They would have been cool, though. This is a cool stall. And I saw, like, a super stereotypical bag. Oh, wait. That's her. She also sells bags on the side. Fortune teller slash bag saleswoman. Oh, hello. Sir, sir. it's the new sir. <laughs> Howdy. This should be our final stop. Sitaria's always thinking of this restaurant when she's working at the academia. Okay. So she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. Sure. Nahida, the food in the academia really is thought nasty. Of everything. <laughs> it's my duty to protect Samiri citizens, after all. <laughs> all right. Nice narrative, dude. Putting this girl's life at risk, but then, yeah, I protect my people. Wouldn't want to ruin a normal student, but this girl, yeah, whatever. Hi there. Hello. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I don't quite remember. <laughs> if I recall, you were having a discussion with someone about shipbuilding at Oh, is she one of the commission ladies? Ah, uh, that's oh, right. Oh, it might be. I've always been really interested in feats of marine engineering. I've had After that commission all, once or twice. I grew up in Leeway Harbor hey. and spent my entire childhood staring at the ships going in and out of the port. Cool. I came to Sumeru to study, but failed to make it into the academia due to my lack of talent. Well, I'm happy for you because you don't want to be in there. But I'm still discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. That's great. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. No, you're still trying. Okay, sure. Well, good luck then. What an admirable spirit for learning. Amazing. <laughs> uh, of course, sure, Nahida would be happy with that. But you'll find hardworking people wherever you go. So this restaurant has a basement now? as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. Ooh. That's right. It's not usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks private or events. to hold private events. Okay. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. As <laughs> long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. Thank you so much. Okay, so you don't even want to study. You just want to have the title. Okay. Noted. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seems like it. Mm hmm Three mm -hmm. familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the point of all the information we've collected? Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make Sataria face her problem. I mean, the fortune teller 
first of all, it can just make her feel bad by, you know, something Nihida may have put in her head, I don't know. Sataria is already used to avoiding her problems, so we must find a way to break through her usual sensibilities. Then her friend, they make him feel guilty that, like, the, the dad fell off a roof. <laughs> and then the last one, there's a basement, and she hates basements. What can I say? Resurrection of the Scarlet King. Yeah. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, the fate of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft spot. Okay. Oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to take advantage of the guilt Sataria feels about her homeland! Take advantage of her guilt, and then it's like, yeah, I want to protect the people. I don't want to hurt anybody. Although she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert, all she's done is conspire with the sages! Okay, so if the king were to criticize her actions... Hmm... So, how do we set that up? I don't know, ask Nahida. Well, She's orchestrating this whole thing. Well, the Scarlet King is long gone, and Satari is also too smart to fall for any simple tricks. Yeah, yeah. She will only fall for complicated if ones. If we simply engaged her under the guise of the Scarlet King's believers, she would definitely be weary of us, and we may not get anywhere. Mm hmm But... If we were to borrow some of her close acquaintances to talk with her, her reaction would probably be very different. Okay. So, you mean you're going to possess those people we just talked to? I, I thought that would be it, but also, it, like, she got caught instantly being Catherine. Wouldn't it be obvious that she's the other people as well? I don't know. She's supposedly too smart to fall for simple tricks, but now this all of a sudden would work? Yep. Possess them through the Akasha. Imply that they've already converted to the faith of the Scarlet King, and then convey our made-up will of the Scarlet King. <laughs> as long as everything goes smoothly, we'll get through to Sataria for sure. Oh, no, this is not gonna She'll go well never then. never guess that we had anything to do with it. Okay. Ah, so that's how you're going to use all the info we collected on these people. Uh -huh. It's so that you won't slip up and break form. Possessing them will only work if you can manage to pass on. Okay, I guess, uh, sure, I guess three minutes experience in chat is enough to just have an entire person's personality down. Fine. Exactly. So, best of luck with impersonating them. Me? Huh? Best of luck? Wait. Wait. We don't know how to possess anyone. Wait, you're gonna teach us? That's no problem at all. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. senses with you once I possess them. Okay. As long as you're also wearing an Akashi oh, terminal, Oh, no. The effect will basically be as if you've possessed them yourself. Nahida, you're... This is literally the end of us. We're putting this on again? It's gonna trap us by the end of this quest. I know it. Although I've been observing humans for okay. a while... Okay, there we go. I've never been good at imitating them. <sighs> the writer's so smart, man. They got all my counterpoints. Damn. It's fair enough. Mm. You're not wrong. It's always been painfully obvious whenever you try to pass his cat. That's what I was saying. Alright, I'll try my best. Uh, if it was at all possible, I would have preferred Oh, to and even this one, well, okay. But seeing how things are now, I probably should just accept it and push on. That's, that's why my initial plan could have just worked too, but whatever. Yeah, don't beat yourself up over it. We're only doing this to help everyone. But then the first and plan we'll would have been them for a little while anyway. <laughs> Only for a little while, just long enough to ruin their lives. Alright, then let's give it a go tomorrow afternoon. Sure. Wait a day, wait a day mechanic, wait a day mechanic, wait a day. Yeah, let's go, the best mechanic in the video game. See you tomorrow. Nahihi, nahihi, I'm here. You don't call this the following afternoon. Nahihi, I'm gone for another day, bye. Nahihi. Alright, time to put on the earpiece and possess this little pizzazz. I don't know what pizzazz means. Hey, there she is, it's Kaya. Oh, peek out. <laughs> here she comes. Is here. That's so good. I thought it'd be closer. The further away, just the drag. Amazing. We'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. What? What can we do that beforehand? Fair to our side. I'll leave that to you. I trust you'll know what to say. Uh, uh, no. I'm starting to feel kind of nervous. Okay, let's go. Where are you nervous? Looks you don't like do anything. Already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. We're in a pretty good hiding spot. Oh, my foot. Ooh, the transition. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. I'm hurt. Whoa. Oh, no. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh-huh. My hand is so tiny. 
Are you still listening to me, Nabia? <laughs> no? Who are you? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. Is this Lumine or Paimon? <sighs> okay, then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. Yeah, I spaced out. You know, the stars, like your name. You should trust the Desert King anyway. Bye. <laughs> I was gonna say, talk to the cats. Strange. Act insane. The cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? Something wrong? I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? <laughs> Hamru and Tamru. <laughs> Harut and Marut, come on. Ah, oh, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Yeah. Harut and Marut. Mm hmm. Ahem. So. Which fortune do you want me to read for you today? <laughs> you must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Whoa, what happens to the camera? Can, can we see Lumine, like, doing something? It'd be hmm. cool. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. Where am I? Just knocked out somewhere? A mess? A mess? Well, um... Could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? <laughs> Stop! Really that's so weird! Over. Look at how she slides! Do it again. Nah. <laughs> I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal uh. the truth. Um... um... Okay, this is true. She did do that. Ho ho ho! Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Wait, it's not a ho ho, it's definitely not. The gods not. are asking. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? <laughs> why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Well, the Sumeru god does. Oh ho ho! Sitaria, <laughs> why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. Why do we feel pity now? Now she's kind of pretty when before she was just ugly and mean. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right Sand now? Sand King Desert Man? Dude, boy. <laughs> what an inconsiderate and naive question. <laughs> the god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all, the Scarlet King. <laughs> the S Scarlet King? No I love how they do this every time. Demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Where are you standing in front of my tent? Go back behind the customer spot. Sitaria, he's being resurrected. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the oh. academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? Oh my god, it's a campaign! <laughs> that, that's such a big lore drop! What insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer! <laughs> Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? <laughs> Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. <laughs> I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Goodbye. Uh, wait! Nah, it's fine. We've reached- we've reached her. Oh? Oh? <laughs> <laughs> the, the vine hit sound. <laughs> Boom. Oh, she just ran I am in a out. hurry. She looked pretty upset too. Of course. Well done. Sataria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. Yeah, I'm pretty smooth with it. See any chest? To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her? That must have shaken her to the core. She's like, what just happened to me? <laughs> Aw, Nahida. It seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. Can we take the Akasha terminal off, please? All I it's making me uneasy. Abstract Haribata theories. Haribata. In any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. Come on. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. It's okay, it's okay. You're just a baby. Scenic box, scenic chest. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. Sure. 
The sound right transposed. Let's get ready to possess him right away. I feel like that's a 100% achievement you always get. Hum, here we go again. I'm going in. Whoa. Howdy, hey, it's me. <laughs> just start asking, it's talking okay. with an accent. I just got caught up in something. Oh, howdy there, Sataria. I'm from, I'm from Texas. The new region that comes out in patch 7.0. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Masonry. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. Of course. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Uh, he's walking more. He's definitely not lifting stuff, broke, breaking his leg. Oh, that's good to hear. I have been thinking a lot about some him. Some guilt. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Do it. We're gonna possess the dad, aren't we? Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yes, in fact. Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. <laughs> please pass on that recently, <laughs> faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos. And has begun to spread across Sumeru. Okay. He has a quick temper, and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. Uh oh. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Wow, this is like real life. Oh, so who are you siding with <laughs> in all of this? The Academia or the Scarlet King? <laughs> Not even the Archon. Uh, I. Ooh. <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert, yet you chose to betray the Whoa. Scarlet King, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the academia. <laughs> Jeez, we're going in ham, man. We're going in so hard. Akeem, you don't mean you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King? Yes, Seti, I have indeed. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise <laughs> Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick us <laughs> What? We're like tearing their relationship apart. <laughs> can't pick a side? Me? <laughs> I kinda like her more and more Whoa. because she's like tempered. You know? so How am I awake? Am I not supposed to be focusing? <laughs> Before I knew it, I started really getting into the role. I wasn't too harsh, was I? You know, when I hear this, it's like, Lumine has talking skills. It'd be so funny if she was snappy like this. You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. That's, that's your plan. That's what we, we need to achieve this emotion for your plan to work. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain everything. Sure. Anyway, let's keep going. I don't think that's gonna go very well, but you can try. Whoa, look at this. Actually kind of stealthy. You know what would have been even more stealthy? Yep. Come on, yep, perfect. Totally what I meant. I meant this. Look at this. Invisible. This is how I used to hide in hide and seek in the first season. But if you're on mobile, it doesn't render. So you're just out in the open. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay. So, Shishan. Have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Yeah, you! Why aren't you following the Desert King? <laughs> like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? Uh, basement studying, sorry, no. Oh, right! Speaking of strange things... What? That's not what I said. I celebrated the Subzerus Festival so many times that I lost count. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. <laughs> Nothing in the report indicated anything like Hey, that. why do you mean? Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's <laughs> citizens? <laughs> what? Alright, sure. Just drop it on her. Whatever. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jishan, don't tell me that you've converted <laughs> to the Scarlet King as well. <laughs> the what smile. What absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Oh my god. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? This is so bad. You, who works side by side with the academia. Okay, that's true And though. treated people as nothing more than experimental okay. subjects. Okay, gotta give her that one, or us. Gotta give me that one. <laughs> please, please stop. Runs away, I literally runs away. All right. Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problems. Did I push too hard? Maybe a little bit. 
She can no longer justify everything to herself. Yeah, it's working. It's true. It's definitely working. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards. What should we do? Possess the guard. This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. But this is improvise. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of 30, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Macho right away. <laughs> the situation in the city is getting out of control. She really is just like completely mind twisted now. She really thinks, all right, I have to prevent the academia and these monsters. They have to know everything. She has, she's still trying to help them. Okay, I know we're going to say, sorry, I'm doing a core workout. As you can see, my toes aren't touching the floor, only my heels. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Uh-huh. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted <laughs> many residents to their side. What do you mean? The Scarlet King? I'm a fan of the Scarlet King. I love that guy. <laughs> heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? Oh, I love her face. The Scarlet King. King! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. <laughs> Say it. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. <laughs> you know my name? <laughs> the Scarlet King is immortal, and all oh, who no. defy him will one day pay the price. Oh no! She's very pretty, I have to say. I, I feel bad, kind of, but also I, it's the only way. You tread a treacherous path. <laughs> And the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Okay, this does feel like some kind of upper power. There's no way she would say all of this, you know? So maybe she's gonna start believing. Child of the Scarlet King, Look at these thick lines never again. forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. Oh? What's so strange oh? about becoming a believer of the wise oh? Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one it's working the one who still oh no i'm so sorry <laughs> run and turn around oh no what an absurd <laughs> no! question uh, it sound like i should be ashamed <laughs> for becoming oh, a believer no! of the scarlet i hate King. it why haven't you gone home screams this is kind of nuts stand up weakling <laughs> oh i i feel awful Seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. Okay. I've also Just like been home. running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans. And from oh. ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. Okay, that's bad. That's not good, Satari. That's not good stuff. But no matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. You should follow your heart. It's not too late to turn back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research this. while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? This, let's go. <sighs> How do you know me so well? <laughs> are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? I am the secretary, actually. Yeah, I work very... I, we, I'm, I'm his right hand, is what they say. He's left-handed, but... I'm the second most important. Anyway, <clears throat> I know a lot. <laughs> the Scarlet King's coming for me. With his jet planes. Like Fergie. Jet plane. Living my life. You know? <laughs> That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the academia and its sages and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, hmm. perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. And make you feel less guilty. Shake my I've hand. I've actually never believed in the gods. Oh. I've always believed in serendipity. I don't Your know what that appearance means. must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. A feeler. Okay. I, I, I want to believe in her. She's our bestie now. It took a little bit, but I think we're getting there. Please tell me. What can I do for you? Amazing. We finally convinced her. <clears throat> How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? Take off the terminal, please. I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest scheme. Oh, you were... Which is what e happened around the Subzerus Festival. E but I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. You designed I'd it. I assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. Ooh. Okay, I have to say it again. You know those places that don't have Statues of the Seven? I really dislike them because you can't heal, and usually I don't have healers in my party because I have friendship teams, right? And I feel like they should add one of these, just a little barbecue, and it would work as a Statue of the Seven. Just like a certain amount of healing you could get from them. I think that'd be a neat feature anyway. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. Okay. 
However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously oh. expelled has returned to the city. That's my boy. But even the sages are still quite wary of him. I'll hate them. To fight against the academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. Okay. One thing, though. I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. Yeah. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Well, she still has hers on, so we're doomed. Um, let me see... Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send <laughs> primitive. someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. Deal, I'm excited. The let's Academia go. entrance. Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? No. Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. Oh, that makes it more sus. I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. Okay. All right, I trust you. Sure. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, <laughs> would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? I don't know, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. You don't believe in the gods, you said? Um, so. that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. Okay. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. Uh-huh. As the god of wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. I mean... Just as Nahida predicted! <laughs> it's working! We managed to bring Sataria to our side! The Traveler's execution was ingenious! She's the one who deserves all the praise! <laughs> I don't really get the press anything, you know. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Okay. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? <laughs> God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? <laughs> Fair enough, true. Mm -hmm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. The truth. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. How philosophical is that, dude? Waiting minigame? Oh, let's go. I love these. The lore is interesting in this so far. Alright, let's do a full day because it doesn't work otherwise. Hiya. What? Ha! <laughs> A scenic common chest in Sumeru. I bet you don't have this one. Maybe you want to go get it. Oh, um, you are the other Catherine, right? No. That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. I mean, I was gonna say the other Catherine would be regular Catherine, but sure, I guess this makes sense. Can we just call her Nahida? Shh. We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect Catherine's identity. Okay. Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. But you shouldn't go there. If something were to happen, we're supposed to go as the guard, the no? This may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. Okay. After all, the academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Okay. That's what Paimon was thinking. Yeah, dude, same. Mm, anyway, enough about that. Mm -hmm. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which, don't you feel like something's off? Off? What do you no feel No guards. Like off? There's nothing around us. It's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. <laughs> You're not getting paranoid, <laughs> are you? But this is the city of life. No, I think she's right. Uh-huh. It really is a lot quieter Paimon, than Paimon, you trying to challenge me? I really just don't want to bring you on this mission, Paimon. You just sit here in your baby chair, baby booster. If you look around... There seems to be fewer people on the streets. There's no one. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Everyone's grouped somewhere. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Yeah, quinky dink. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. Definitely not sus. I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. But... Well, as the guard? Regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. Sure. This is interesting. I don't know how this is gonna go. Huh. There really are many people out right now. Uh-huh. What the... What is this? What is this? <laughs> a gadget. It's damaged? Is that what it says? Oh, damasked. D damasked. And we get a bunch of primos. 
Oh, it's for the two years. It's for the two years. Happy two years, guys. I'm happy to have spent them with you. We're lucky these branches are guarding us. This is the most unsafe bridge up ever. And also, nothing's clinging. You're just letting the moss take over. This thing's gonna start crumbling. Oh, cutscene. Oh. <laughs> what? What? This is so weird. And they're cheering us on? Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. Mm. And to a rather spectacular Wait. welcome. Even if I this do is the say Tutu so guy. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed oh. I am. It's not Although Ahithem. these days they tend to call me the Doctor. <laughs> what is this freeze? The Tore for real? If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. Yeah, I With knew. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Yeah, Clearly, that's she lacks you, I the guess. degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. That sucks. And they're all cheering us on, like idiots, City. like zombies. What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. I hate this. Now they this. can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. Well, <laughs> they're not far off. My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no. What should we do? These are all just regular people! Kill them! <laughs> now. We need to get out of here. What is this? That guy's a what? harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon. Oh, oh shit! Already? Wake up, lads! Oh, the earpiece is so pretty! In green, I love it. To sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. Okay. I love Nahida. I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. Uh-huh. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the god of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Okay, honestly, how could you sim for that guy? He's just Gigantic piece of dookie, no? Oh my god, I love bad guys. <laughs> this should be far enough. <sighs> Paimon needs to catch a breath. I hate when Paimon says that. We're mad. I'm actually angry as well. I can't wait to beat him up every week. He's gonna be a weekly boss, right? There's no way. Uh, is the Hida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. She's fine. She's a queen. She can jump between mines. She'll be fine. She's not even physically I'm there. A new harbinger here, let alone such a high ranking one. That guy was number two. <laughs> so scary. I love that she says this, though. This really makes it feel MMO. I like that. Mm, he called himself the Doctor. Uh-huh. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Yeah. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the Academia came back recently. I don't know why I thought it was Al Haitham, but also, I this is the guy that tested on uh, Kole, right? I think. I, don't, I really don't see... I cannot find a single bit of appreciation for him. And that even the are weary of him. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like she must have been talking about the doctor. I didn't underestimate eat. I guess the scale. Yeah, the scale. Yeah. Now that the doctor's in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the academia. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. This was an easy predict, though. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another gnosis? Ah, oh, could just be it. Let's try and find Nahida again. Yeah. Things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Yeah. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city, but we can't just keep waiting around, right? Find someone else who might be involved? Uh, sure. Who would that be, though? Uh, you mean... Take Nari! Okay, I didn't oh, think of that right. at all. Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Nidia Forest? That has to be the same project! Take Nari, save us! Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. Oh, he do know something. 
There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville. I agree. We could have, you know, we, you could have told me this as we're on a trip. Triumph of imagination. Lordy me. What a twist, guy. Okay, no one, no one's surprised by this twist. I'll walk. I'll walk it. No one's surprised by this twist, right? This one's kind of obvious. I feel like uh, it was teased a bit too hard for it to be a big surprise. You think the Adamata are gonna have something to do with this in the end? <laughs> That'd be a cool twist. I'd like that. They help us fight the evil people in the city as well. Friend of Tignari, the Adamata. Hold it right there. Or what? Oh, the Emirates? Oh no. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. Uh huh. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. Mm-hmm. You've fallen right into our trap. Oh, okay. I'm excited. Someone's gonna save us. <laughs> Are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? <laughs> <laughs> Corps of Thirty. We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. Okay. We are an elite brigade that elite, commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. Uh huh. We're here on the orders of a client ah. known only as the Outcast. Well, is there two Outcasts? Because this feels like I'll hate them to me again. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? Yeah, I mean, it would have been the Doctor, but. Well, why would Local mercies might have an edge? Nah. I think, yeah, taking advantage of the local resources, definitely. Still wasting time on idle chit chat. Uh huh. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Get them! You never win this. We're gonna get protected by someone. No fade? Someone's gonna save us. Okay, fade. <laughs> I'm just following orders, he says. Okay, I haven't pressed E on either of these yet. Whoa! Ooh, 67 damage. Wait, I'm so t How did I take a hit? I don't know what just happened. Okay, I'll have to do that <laughs> in a bit again. Alright, uh, are we supposed to like be pressured? Oh no! There's so many of them! Oh no! Not the desert boys! Ah! Oh, I got him. <laughs> that was pretty rough. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? Yeah, well, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. Sure, I'm pissed. Look, I'm angry mode, and I got the buff, so I'm good. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. No. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find yes. Kainari? That yes. Uh, going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. All right, going up against smart people is tough. Paimon, 2022. Paimon, before the final battle of Genshin Impact. Oh man. Fighting strong people is so crazy. <laughs> hey, Kole. Oh, it's the Traveler and Paimon. Hey. What are you two doing back here? Uh, checking up on you because we said we would and we haven't. <laughs> Kole, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? Uh-huh. I... <sighs> oh, to no. To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. We'll save you. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. I promise you. As a result... Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. Mm -hmm. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Doesn't sound very fun, but safer for you. Oh, Kale. <laughs> Seems like curing Erminsoul is our only chance. Yep. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. Yeah, I didn't lose my 50 50 to him. Oh, Master Tainari? Yeah. He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party CI. Okay. Well, we need him. And he needs to be careful. Uh, he left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. Uh-huh. I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as oh. a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time though. He would only leave if he thinks there's a track or like a path. The fixing Urban Soul, right? I don't think there's any other reason he would leave. No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. Oh, he's not planning on coming back anytime soon. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I guess he had something urgent to take care of. Yeah. Hmm. Master Tainari hmm. originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia. Mm -hmm. And part of the eye is something like the Amorta's research base. Oh. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. Okay. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party CI. Okay, so he's trying to find old research, probably. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. 
I mean, it's probably something that could help the academia, you know? Doesn't want it to fall into their hands. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party CI. Sure. Please take care of yourself, Kale. Uh, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. Of course. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Hey, Catherine. Wait, look who it is! <laughs> I want to say Catherine would be funnier. Catherine! Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried about you. You are in a heat, right? You haven't been... Oh, no. It's true. It's a Fatui robot. Oh, no. It complicates even more. You haven't been reprogrammed, right? Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, <laughs> but you're ruining the moment. Well, better be safe than star, you stupid floating purple nerd. Actually, it's very smart of the Thank traveler you. to be wary of me right now. Thank you. After all... The doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Yeah. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after mm -hmm. we split up and I was facing the doctor by myself. Come on, it's an Archon. The Archon slices everyone, let's be honest. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. <laughs> there she is. Okay, it's definitely Nahida. <laughs> hmm. Hyman feels like only the yep. real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. <laughs> All I wanted was to clarify my point. It's okay, your innocent child is cute. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Uh -huh. Are those poor people alright? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Okay. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, yeah. he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. That would have been so bad. Instead, if that was the case. he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. That's probably the dream power. Dude, the Adonata can actually help with this. Just make a bunch of fruit with all his dream power. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. So what happened? You just, you like, let Catherine go? <sighs> what a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. Nahida pulled out the biggest hidden cards. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. Yeah, far from it. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds. Of course. Which means we've lost another one of That's our trump cards. The doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Right. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Then you're gonna have to physically come out if you exist physically. I don't even know if Nahida has a, like, physical... Did we find, figure it out? I remember. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Yes. Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. I think we just break her out. <laughs> we just break her physical self out. We need to hurry. Our position will only get worse with time. <sighs> Feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Fair. Nasty. Nasties. <laughs> Plus, the doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. Is that what they're ranked upon? Okay. We Who's number one again? Hope just yet. Can someone help? Child is Let's low. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Okay. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party's DI? Have you been waiting for it? It's so obvious, you guys. Yes, I have. <laughs> I can see the traveler's <laughs> elemental energy. So I deduced her destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. That's so overpowered. She must be so confused because I don't have, have any waypoints. So I just went from like the far north to the far south to walk back north. <laughs> you didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Mm-hmm. Did you find any leads? Well, Tignari is mi missing. We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Come inside of us, Let's I thought. Let's just hope we won't Take get control into of us. trouble. Sure. We probably will. Oh, I love this place. It's so pretty. It's like a big... I don't know what you call these in English. Ser? You grow your tomatoes inside. Hey! It's you! From the dreams with the Aranara! Right? I told you the Aranada are gonna help us. I can't wait. Traveler? Hey! It is you! How's it going? I'm actually excited to see you again. Hey, Peja! Ah, the voice! It's a Peja! Long time no see! Uh, 
What a pleasant surprise! <laughs> it's so nice to see the two of you again. I actually like seeing her again as well. Who's this? Wait, hey, 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 that's rude, Nahida. She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. <laughs> when we last saw each other, she was still training in the. Uh. Satyavada. Satyavada life? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh huh. That's right, we're old friends. <laughs> uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Hey, no Akasha terminal. She's pure. Let's go. Papasia, you're way too excited about this. <laughs> Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means oh, you're not in training anymore. She's broken the sixth wall. Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Paripurna life? Paripurna. <laughs> what do you think? Let's go. <laughs> My consciousness. <laughs> has already managed to make contact with the divine. Uh, Nahida? <laughs> you did it? Congratulations! I'm really happy for you. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last. <laughs> okay, that's why she was excited. It wasn't even about us. She was just she just wanted to flex. Alright, whatever, I'm gone. When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, oh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was. <laughs> Why is this a shivering animation with a smile? That was awful. That sounds incredible. I, don't, I literally incredible. I don't believe it. Actually, we're here for Tignati. We're in a hurry. Let's chat next time. All right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. I have. What was it? Remember? I promised to help you understand oh. what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. Yeah. My current self has not only gained true insight, oh. but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. <laughs> has she just gone insane? This this feels surreal. You, you can do that? Do you believe this, Nahida? We're just blowing your cover. I've never heard of anything like that, but if you want to give it a try, that's so cool. I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on, I brought some spirit borneal with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Of course. Uh, we're using that incense again? Yes. All right now. <laughs> She's just set it up. Hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Ready? As ready as ever. Let's go in. <laughs> I'm, I'm very intrigued. And we're trapped. We're dead. We're doomed. It's over. Goodbye. <laughs> Every time black screen. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. Oh? This is Skaramouche. It's just an elaborate tapestry of lies. Yeah, it is Skaramouche. For sure. My fury will never be quelled. Oh my god, it's Arthur Fist. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength yeah. above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. Damn. The second was a human. Oh my no. My friend. So he was good. Consumed by fear. He saw me as an abomination. No. Everyone loves Scaramouche now. one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless huh? before his mortality. He Bro. broke his promise to me. Humans. They can't nah, be but that third one is baloney. The gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> We're getting some My spicy lore never this again act. be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty. A blank slate. And then what? And ready to receive a supreme gnosis. Brimming with pure divinity. Oh, he is a Fatui, <laughs> of course. That's right. He did join them. There is no need to fear. I'm not scared. The pain scared. will be brief. I think you'll Your be good era again. Is coming to an end. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you'll be good again. <laughs> yep.
I love it. What was that? Wait, you you saw that too? Now this, I saw a little bit of fire in the middle, but this has nothing to do with the tree, except if he was the one that like has injured the tree. But this definitely shows to me like Scaramouche was good, wanted to be good, but lacks understanding of humans, so just hates them all now and thinks they're all bad. Even though that like the kid literally, I think as far as I understand, the kid just died. And he says that his death was breaking the promise to him of being friends forever, I assume. Interesting, though. I think he's gonna be good still. This is neither of the Greater Lord's consciousnesses. Did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Yeah. Everything matches what we know about him. Uh-huh. But how is he the connected to the that's divine true. That's consciousness a cool that Hapatia was talking about? I don't know. You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh. oh such a majestic god. Such a noble will. Such sublime emotion! So she has been emceed, mind controlled by the Fatui. Alas, shame. If only. Uh oh. Yeah? If only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. <laughs> oh, oh, great and merciful oh, God. God. Please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Never mind, I'm not happy we see her again. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri porn life, but rather... Wake up. <laughs> you! Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> Why is everyone hiding from me? You're a freak! I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? No. Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? You're being taken advantage of. Apeja! Once- oh. What? Why are we watching this? Is she gonna start scaling up? That's how I always thought everything should be. Okay. Wait. Waiting. Okay. I see it. Have I? Uh oh. Yes. Already lost my mind? Yes! Let's go. That's true. That was a thing. They said people went insane when they did this. It's true. At least she's strong enough to realize it. If she if she fully realizes it, there's still a chance she'll be fine. Wait. Something isn't right. Uh oh. What is it? Are we closed in? Oh, another cutscene. What is going- There's so many cutscenes! What's happening? Are we being attacked by these people? What is this slide? There's so much action in this- in this act! Fighting again. Awesome. No! Save Catherine! Cool dash. Oh, she's gonna use her own. Ah. Oh, what? Oh my god, what? Wait. Oh, maybe she controlled our mind then. Oh, it's actually baby Nahida. She trapped? I see you. Wait, is he in front? What is going on? What do you mean? That's the new boss! He's in a giant suit of armor robot thing! What is happening? <laughs> that is crazy! That is literal crazy time. We're still running! Oh, Paimon found Tignari? I guess? That was a cool angle. Wait. Okay, we finally lost him. What? What is going on? Guys, this is nuts. This story is way more nuts than Act 1 and 2 combined. So much action. I think it's a gasp moment. Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no. Something <laughs> feels different. Okay, see, she did control us. That's, that's, okay. Oh, the Traveler's back? Hey, Dignity. What just happened? That is... I'm, I'm not over this. I need a bit. Need to take a sip of water after that one. Oh, and we're not even in the desert yet. Is the desert even involved in this at all? Like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure I mean, right before the that. Catherine puppet was destroyed. Wait, Catherine is dead? I mean, she's probably going to get replaced, right? After that, Kainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries, and then he ran with us all the way here! Why did we run if we defeated the mercenaries? Hey, Tignati, thank you for being a champ. This time, she didn't just transfer her mind into my body. Our minds swapped places. 
So we witnessed that? And we know the dude is at- See, I told you we needed to get her physical body out of there. And it looks like she was kind of trapped by the academia. Like, they made some sort of bubble so she couldn't have any influence on anything. But she was smart enough to use the Akasha terminal. This is crazy. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Yes, that is what I said. Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? Well, we've never known this since the start. No, she's like in the academia or like in the top tower of the big building. I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. No, definitely not, but that's just the Archon's power, no? Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, Oh? The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, oh. so I can't journey with you anymore. Well, here you go. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. <laughs> Stop with this lie, with this, with this, the moon is a liar metaphor <laughs> stuff. Oh no! He just trapped oh. in the sanctuary of Suristana for goodness There you time. go, sanctuary of Suristana. I want to save her so bad, like get her physical body out of there. Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. How did you not hear this? You were running with us, or them. It's in a code that only we know. We can't let the doctor figure out what we're up to. Oh, that makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. <laughs> She's being extra careful. You <laughs> figure this out. Come on, a man that can, that can make devices to mind control people, he could figure out what it means, like, a, even in a night with stars, the lines and stuff. Even in a moonless night, this. a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Right. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions well, and lies are from that alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Sure. And the star supposedly was that researcher that got caught. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? Uh-huh. It had something to do with Sataria. Yeah, the desert. Now we go to the desert. Yeah, there you go. The moon refers to Nahida herself. I said that. This, I, I didn't say the people of the desert, but I said the, the, the researcher herself. Illusions and lies, the academia's plans. Yeah. Sense? Yes. Huh. Do yes. you think that Hina yes. was telling yes. us to go find help in the desert? <laughs> this quest is so much more exciting than anything I've done in the past while. These cutscenes are so hype. But she isn't with us anymore. Think we'll be okay? Pignati is coming with us. Paimon, you said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this <laughs> Nahida you're talking about, <laughs> the consciousness who was occupying the traveler's uh -oh. body, is the Dendro Archon? Uh, no. I mean, he he knows. The thing is, if he knows everything about this, is probably because the academia asked him to help anyway. So this is all stuff he would have probably helped with in the first place if he said yes to help, but he didn't. Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's <laughs> a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. He would understand. He'd believe That's us. That's all right. Right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation. <laughs> Safe to say, I have witnessed that for myself. Yeah, fair enough. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so... <laughs> I trust you. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. <laughs> what do you know about the project that the sages have been working on? This lead is useless now. We should just go to the desert. Nahida told us to. Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project... Okay. The sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. But what was their plan? Like, what did you have to do? All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermensol. Hmm. I think I know what the project is about. I just received some new intel. Huh? Did you see something when uh -huh. you were in Nahida's body? Yes. This is not what I gathered from it at all, but this is even crazier. The Academia is turning the Balladeer into a god. What? I know. <laughs> I know. Do you have any evidence? Now, I saw a nascent god under construction. Hypatia also showed us a so-called divine consciousness. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. Mm? You describe what you saw when you exchanged consciousness with Nahida. So that's what happened. Mm -hmm. That explains why Hypatia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. Yeah. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. <laughs> so it's RNG, which god you get? Oh, please, don't give me the insane god. Give me the normal one. 
This path is not one I'd like to choose. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Apasia? I did. Uh. I noticed Apasia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Party's Dia oh. and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. Okay. If I didn't take action, Hapasia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. And that's where we'll start our trip in the desert. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser uh -huh. Lord Kusanali, but... Maybe an easy guess as well. But I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Mm -hmm. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. Yeah, definitely. And I was going to say this as well. It's it's mostly the Fatui. The Doctor and the Balladeer. Yep. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. I think it's a good time. I think we're going to have a lot of fun, actually. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. Okay. Then, I mean, I think so too. What is the connection between creating a new god... And restoring Ermansoul. Well, either Ermansoul's power has to go in the new god, or this is still the Academia's goal, and this is the Fatui goal, making a new god. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the Sage's goals. Let's head to the desert for now. We must stop them no matter what. Right. We've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? Probably back to Kole. I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things oh. to help Papasia. Okay. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. Rebat. That'll be your fastest route. Okay. Thank Come you. find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. Sure. May the spirit of wisdom go with you. All the same to you, boss. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully Papasia will feel better soon. We're off then. Bye-bye. What a champ. The god gazes back. Whoa. Ooh, chills. What's the chance of us finding these two right there? I think it's pretty high. I'm very excited for it. I really want to know what their personalities are like. I know nothing about them, so we will see. Do I keep simping this hard or no? Because right now, aesthetically, I'm a gigantic fan. Look at this angle. Whoa. No, I'm, a, I'm a super big fan of this character. She's so cool. This is... What in the world is that? What the... That's... I saw it from the distance, like, a long time ago, but it's, it feels like it's even bigger. Look at it! What the hell? It's like an upside-down double-flip pyramid with a primo gem in the middle. And it's sucking up the sky power. That's... That's messing with time. Bet it's messing with the... Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's definitely messing with time. Like, it's sucking up space-time distortion. I'm crazy. Look at how cute this little caravan is. I love it. Well, new music. New music. We vibe. Boom, do, boom, whoop, whoop. Can I change wings mid, mid, mid flight? The purple ones look really good on her. Oh, you can. Well, this looks nice. All right. I am excited. Hey, um, here, here. Howdy. It's a little town. We finally made it to Caravan Rebot. It's pretty lively here. Yeah, I like it. So. Just past this wall is the desert, huh? Seems like it. Oh, wow. Paimon remembers hearing people call this the Wall of Samiel. Okay. It's made to block sandstorms That's from the what outside. It is. Oh, if it's this tall, it's gotta be the divine work of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? I was gonna ask what it was, but this makes a lot of sense. Quite impressive, awe inspiring. Someone's gonna address us. Enough gawking. <laughs> Come on, follow me. <laughs> yes, my man. <laughs> Let's go. My man, he knows we good. Huh? Hey, champ. I'll hate them. Over here. Uh, I know. Let's go. That is hype. Oh, he's oh, running. This is way. interactive. Wait, RP. Him. Wonder what he's up to. I don't know, but he's the only thing we can trust, so we might as well. He's probably gonna tell us about that knowledge capsule anyway, right? It's been corrupted by the academia. Something like that. Tell me all about it. Oh, he's still running. Hey, come back. Who've been spitting on the rugs here? Oh. What the... Where did she go? Who is she? Uh, how did we lose them? They were just here a second ago. Me? They were chasing me? I didn't even know. More Aramite mercenaries? I guess so. Who are they working for this time? Uh, anyway, just traveler, say more. Oh. it seems like we were being followed again. Hey, stealth. You were too careless. Yeah. 
You should have noticed those hopeless amateurs trailing you a long time ago. <laughs> we couldn't have shaken them? Oh, lies. Thanks, I hate them. Yeah, fair There's enough. There's no need to thank me. I've never cared to keep track of personal favors. Okay, that's respectable. I'm the same. All I did was correct a mistake I happened to come across. Cool. It's a habit I developed at the academia. Right, who's now corrupted. You really get by on a scare, I'll hate them. We never thought we'd run into you here. Last time we met at Poor Ormos, didn't you say you were going back to the academia? <gasps> Wait, don't tell Paimon <laughs> that you're here to take us back on their orders! <laughs> he just helped us escape. Oh, so you've already landed yourselves on the academia's hit list. <laughs> well, the Fatui <laughs> side of it. I that I didn't expect it. Right. However, Fair enough. had I wished to turn you over to the academia, don't you think you'd already be the Eremite's honored guests by now? Well, no. Go back to playing The Sims, I can escape you easily. Oh, right. Um, you do have a point. <laughs> Did you participate in the Sage's big project? I have no interest in running errands for that project. As a scholar, I've always belonged to okay. the camp that promotes researcher autonomy. That's cool. And these days, you're more fascinating than anything the Sages can offer. <laughs> so you were looking for me, huh? Wink, wink. <laughs> Not quite. Oh. To tell you the truth, I'm still Shut investigating down. the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Okay. Unfortunately, I've run into some difficulties. Well, we didn't know you had it. Everyone says the capsule originated in the desert and was eventually moved to Port Ormos. If I am to get to the bottom of this, I must understand how the capsule first came to be. I mean, our, our researcher friend said that the academia made up that the god was respawning. <laughs> gamer terms and then i'm sure they made the capsule for that reason i'm pretty confident even the whole like rumor of it being lost during a carriage or whatever you know that that was the whole lore in the first act all that is just a setup from the academia all of it which brings me back to you and why you're so interesting i am actually the one who decides what happens to this world the leader of Ainul Ahmar used the divine knowledge capsule right in front of you and upon seeing him your expression became perplexed and you were lost in thought for quite some time. Yes, indeed. To have that kind of reaction, I think you must have <laughs> realized something. Are you interested at all in sharing what you've been hiding from me? Well, you've been hiding a lot from me as well. That's because I was so shocked to hear those words again. World, forget me. I was shocked I the first them. time. You really have a ridiculous eye for detail. What kind of person even notices or remembers stuff like that? Situation's a little complicated. Can't share what I know just yet. So that's your answer. Mm hmm. Hm. Well, I do work for the academia after all. <laughs> so, considering that, it is indeed wise to keep your cards close to your chest. I'm doing just that. Yeah, it's got it. It's a reference. The cards. It's, it's a reference but to the card game. But that does prove you do have some undisclosed information about the Divine Knowledge. It's like capsule. The Witcher. Am I right? No. <sighs> no matter. Rather than simply learning the answers from you, I'd still prefer to investigate on my own. Well, you ask then. Speaking of, you two are also headed to the desert? Yes. Are you gonna show us the way? Knuckles? That's right! We have the same plan as you! But we don't really have any concrete goals at the moment. Then I'd suggest starting with Aru Village. Okay. It's the largest settlement in the desert, so it'll probably have more resources and intel than anywhere else. Nice. Well, would you like to head there together? Yeah, sounds good. Let's head there together. It's always better to travel with someone you know. Let's go! I don't know about that one. <laughs> Can't guarantee that. I'm gonna get this checkpoint though, this waypoint. Expiration, I'm sorry, I need it. A yoink, there's way too much distance in here. How in the world did I get my burst, by the way? It must be very cheap, maybe? I really wanna press it, I really wanna discover it. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry, little desert fox. I don't know why I punched it. Yo, little desert fox. I have to, I, sorry. Seraph's gonna be a sandstorm debuff. What the hell? There's little snakes. No, I'm leaving. Oh, the desert's gonna be exciting to explore. There's a scorpion. This meat animal? Yeah, meat animal for sure. What do you drop? Just meat. <laughs> of course, the scorpions drop good old beef slabs. Okay, this is gonna be so interesting because, first of all, there is a statue of the seven in here and... Oh, scarab. No way, they just walk around. I think you need this for this guy. You do, that's so cool. That's really, really cool. No, what I wanted to say is that, who is that? Is that, is that the Dendro Archon still? 
they don't believe in the Dendro Archon, right? They believed in that in the Sand Sand King dude, didn't they? I'll grab this though. I I think it's Nahida still, or like Rukuda Rukuda Shur 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 Shur. There's a lot here. This is this truly is desert. This entire place right here just looks abandoned. It is. It is just and it's Nahida too, because it's Tiny Archon. Or the other one was Tiny as well, I don't know. I'm sorry, my, my mind is all over the place right now. <laughs> so, my thoughts are a bit scrambled, but I hope you still get what I'm trying to say. Alright, we've made it. Before us lies Aru Village. It's the so pretty. The safe haven of the desert folk. Safe haven, okay. Whoa. This landscape uh -huh. is really something else. Definitely. What a cool place. Let's go check it out. Hey, we're not here for tourism, though. Oh, another other cutscene. Okay, now we probably meet Sino. This is so pretty, I love it. Wow. Yeah, me too. <sighs> me too. <sighs> ah, that's definitely him. I knew it. <laughs> Why is he attacking? What's wrong with you? Are you a mercenary hired as well? Well, there are so many cool cutscenes in this act already. We're being spoiled. I wish this wasn't the standard. Even this fighting. Okay, you know, this almost excites me for the anime, as someone who doesn't watch anime. I want to see all these fighting scenes. Hmm. Sino. A worthy opponent. So it's Sino, not Sino. Unless right, that's good my to know. memory fails me. We have barely spoken two words to each other before now at the Academia. He's also a student. Would you care to enlighten me as to when and how I invited the General Mahamacha's wrath? <laughs> You're like, yeah, I was bored. Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape what? my judgment just because you managed to escape my attack. He's got such a deep voice. <laughs> judgment? So that's how you'd characterize your actions here, is it? Or would elimination perhaps be a more accurate description? <laughs> Is this just like student rivalry? Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. What do you mean, not even? You think I'm stronger than him already? Okay, okay, you're on my, you're on my friends list now. Do keep in mind, I'm using a dull blade. Sino, can't just be like that. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Standard practice for the Matra, <laughs> as well you know. <laughs> Seem to me more like your own personal touch. Uh, who, who is that, Al Haytham? Did you call him General Mahamatra? I don't remember what this is. Yes, General Mahamatra Sino, head of all the Matra at the Academia. He's I a formidable hunter remember. and the ultimate nightmare for any who have committed academic crimes. Okay, interesting. Oh, the Matra is the ones that. We kept calling Rish Boland tigers, right? In Act One as well, and he's the head of that. Okay, you seem to but have he is from the a desert. Lot of trust in all Haytham, to the point of blocking an attack for him. Yeah, well, we don't have anything else to go off of. If I were you, I'd never choose to side with him. I wouldn't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. But how can we trust you, though? <laughs> I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. Okay, I urge you. Stand back and do not seek to defend him any longer. Otherwise, there will be consequences. <laughs> I don't trust him as much as you seem to think. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stand by and do nothing. Has Al Haytham done something wrong? Hyman doesn't think he's as bad as you've made him out to be. <laughs> I won't waste my breath explaining things. Why not? Al Haytham. I saw it during our fight. Oh, the capsule. Yeah, but we know about that. Uh, that's no crime for us. Take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. Of course. Unless you want me to retrieve it for myself. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run! Very perceptive of you. <laughs> Nothing escapes a mantra's senses. It was obvious. Oh, he's actually giving it? He made Wait, a copy. The divine knowledge capsule? Didn't it fall into the mantra's hands in Port Orma? <laughs> So we were. What, what do you mean? Like he he talked about examining it. We knew that when he said it earlier. And we're only surprised now. You didn't like this, of course he did. No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. What does this capsule mean to you? That's all he wants to know, anyway. And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, are you all alone in the desert? Ooh, maybe his own personal investigation. As far as I'm aware. 
the other mantra have been speculating about your disappearance. I like how the sand around his feet is kind of like impacted. That's cool. Have you been given a mission that's, let's say, morally dubious? Uh oh. If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources to judge me within the walls of the academia? Uh oh. Is it a mission from the sages, perchance? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. <laughs> you two! Ugh. What should we do, Traveler? Paimon feels like we can't trust either of them! Yeah, I kind of feel the same. Ahem. <clears throat> well, look hey, at you two. Hey, no, that's Acting something we could trust. self-righteous over there. <laughs> Wait, yes. Dia. Dia. I missed her. She's probably my fave. Wait, she's so tall. Wait, is she taller? I thought she was our size. <laughs> you gotta help us out here, otherwise these two are gonna start fighting again! <laughs> yeah, sure looks that way. Two giants from the Academia duking it out once and for all. Not something you get to see every day, that's for sure. <laughs> Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality <laughs> and lord your empty rules and virtues over each other. I love her. Look, I know your egos are so big they barely fit in your skull cavities, but maybe we should be friends here. But how dare you bring your petty disputes into the safe haven of Aru Village. True. It seems like <laughs> someone's gonna have to beat some sense into your thick skulls until you finally learn to respect these grounds. Alright, well, that, that's, that's not gonna help, is it? May I just say, scenic angle, but also very scenic Seely. And it rhymes, too. <laughs> well, it doesn't, but it starts with the same. It's an alteration. <sighs> Neither of them can afford to be distracted by Dia. They're still looking for an opportunity to attack. Hey! Did either of you hear a word I just said? No. Whoosh. Oh, that's that's the moment. Here we go. Sino's attacking. Cause he can he did you see how quick he was like through the sand and stuff? Ooh, what's going on? The wind's so strong. Is this a sandstorm? Paimon's gonna get blown away! Hold on to Paimon. Another sandstorm? What's up with these recently? Yes, yes, there she is! Oh, I'm excited. We're meeting hey, all of them. All of you over here quickly! We have to take cover. I like her voice. Someone's calling for us. Oh, this wind is too strong. She's just floating quietly. Let's get over there. <laughs> she should be wobbling like, ah! <laughs> that sounded like Candace. Candace. Uh, come on, you two. Jeez, are all of you academia folks such hard work? Hey, Move it. Let's go. All right, stop yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so over it. <sighs> Instead of, oh, this is so cool, this icon. This is actually really cool. I like that a lot. It's just considered a new region almost. Exciting. <laughs> Sino's not happy about it. Just silent. Sino, more like silent. <laughs> I got him. I was gonna say something so stupid. It was like, people always do the Candice, but then like Candy's nuts. But I was gonna say like, she's like Candice candy to my eye. I don't know. It's, it's very cringe. I was like, I'll explain it instead. It'll be a little bit less cringe. It'll still be cringe, but just a little bit less. Dot, dot, dot. Dot dot dot. Oh, we also die over oh, drawing. Oh, this melon be looking good. Well, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> hey, I used Paimon saying that in one of my very first meme videos, but she said it in a very different way. It was with Diluc and Jean. I remember the scene even. Sorry for that. I scared the living poop out of me. My door slammed close. Well, this is pretty awkward. I think that's how she said it last time. Hey. Wanna play sardines with three people who wanna tear each other limb from limb? <laughs> sure, why not? Sounds fun. <laughs> what? Uh, the air is what so is thick it? and heavy. <laughs> can hardly keep floating anymore. <laughs> My sincere apologies, everyone. This is the home of our village chief. I will have to ask you to make do with this small room until the sandstorm dies small down. Small room? It's massive. Please, let me introduce myself. I am Candace. Protector of Aru Village. I'm in love. Ah, our savior has come at last! Well, <laughs> Dia was a savior just five minutes ago. Nice to meet you, Candace. The name's Paimon. Thank you so much for helping us. Uh, you're, you're like, uh, Candace to my eyes. <laughs> you have my gratitude. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. Yes, there is. It's only right to help each other when the weather gets rough. But she's the best character in the video game. Please be good and deal damage. Please, I want to main a four star again. Please. Wow, she's so gentle and caring. I know. Like a nice older sister. I know. I'm like those guys over there. I know. All right. <laughs> now that we're all better acquainted, 
We should return to the topic at hand. And she has such a pretty voice. Okay, okay. Enough simping. Enough. Enough. No more simping the entire quest. Okay, one simping pass. If I simp more than once, ban me. Ha, <laughs> you can't do that. I don't care. As a guardian charged with the responsibility to protect my fellow villagers from harm, I was observing your conflict from afar, even before the sandstorm started. Look at that. She's also a spy. And now that you have set foot within our village itself, it is all the more my responsibility to make absolutely sure that you pose no threat whatsoever to us. Okay. So please, have an honest and sincere conversation with one another, and put your hostile feelings to rest. Okay, the, the S's are very screechy again. If anyone dares to start anything again while they are under this roof, I will not hesitate to send them out for some quality time with the creatures of the sandstorm. <laughs> oh, the creature? That sounds intriguing. Oh! Uh, on second thought, Paimon may have misjudged Candace's character. No, not at all. Just don't get on her bad side. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes for you too, Miss Dia. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? <laughs> She's so cool. All right, we got it, Candace. If even Dia respects Candace, you know she out there. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So, which of you will begin? I'll begin. I never speak. I'll do it. I was supposed to be a mediator, but uh, I might have gotten a little too involved just now. <laughs> anyway, one of those two should probably start talking. As she talks. Wait! That was you trying to be a mediator? No, the start seemed decent, but then she said I'll beat you up. She said she got too involved. <sighs> oh, here we go. I have nothing to hide, so there's no shame in explaining myself. Let's hear it. While all Haytham wasn't wrong about the other Matra not knowing my whereabouts, it's not because I've been assigned a morally dubious mission. Mm -hmm. Rather, I've chosen to exile myself. I think I said that. I lifted up my hand like, told you. <laughs> Exile yourself? He doesn't want to work with Academia anymore, and he wants to know what that capsule's about, because he knows the Academia made it. Bet? Bet. We always sit so politely, like, straight back, arms crossed, hands in hand. A little while ago, I discovered that there was data missing in the Academia's project planning and development files. Uh-huh. What little they did report clearly did not match the project's actual progress. Let's go sign up. As General Mahamatra, I had the responsibility and authority to request an audit. Uh -huh. However, to my surprise, the person responsible for the erroneous data was none Azar. other than Grand Sage Azar himself. Uh oh. I tried to investigate the issue myself before submitting a formal audit request, but I soon found that all leads and potential pieces of incriminating evidence yep. were carefully concealed from me. Of course. I began to realize that. They were cautious of me from the very beginning. Well, this is a very good ally to have. Unsurprisingly, the Grand Sage rejected my audit request as soon as the submission reached his desk. Uh -huh. He even said to me, I know you, I know you know, that's what he said. And his restroom by. The power of the General Mahamatra is granted by the Sages. <laughs> you have no right to judge us. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hmm. So they really are up to no good. Uh huh. I realize See, we're all friends that the Grand Sage, the Matra are nothing more than tools for the Sages to really assert not. and maintain their control over knowledge. Who would have thought? Maybe the fact they're like making sure that the Archon has absolutely no power was a gigantic hint towards it, huh? The vows that we took, the principles that we strive to uphold, mm -hmm. they are meaningless to the academia of today. Yeah, so you decided to exile yourself. I believed it would be wise to flee the Academia before the Sages had a chance to take action against me. Smart. This way, they can no longer see nor predict my actions. Well, what a coinkydink. We're also fighting them. Let's be friends. I will never give up on this investigation. There's no need for someone else to give me power or authority. Once I find the truth, I will administer judgment by my own name. Nice. Sino seems to have the same goal as us. We're all investigating the Sages. Plus, now that he's no longer the General Mahamatra, he somehow feels a lot less scary. <laughs> Too early to complete. Trust him? Nah, I have- I've, he's in my party. <laughs> I trust him fully. What if the whole story was just made up? I don't- I don't really believe it. It could be, but I really do- I don't think so. Well, Sino, if that's your story, then why did you see all hate them as a target? Okay, well, he's gonna tell his side now. Well, he had the capsule thing, so maybe he thought he was trying to retrieve it for the Academia? 
When I was investigating the matter in the academia, I overheard a conversation between Al Haytham and a sage. Oh, I mean, Al Haytham, I assume, would try and keep good links with them as well. It's better safe than sorry. The sages asked you to investigate a blonde haired traveler. Oh. Do you dispute this, Al Haytham? <laughs> I was indeed tasked with investigating the traveler. Al Haytham! <laughs> What? What's the point of this reaction? After all, the promised reward was so great that hardly any scholar could have refused. The sage told me, once you've completed this assignment, I can give you a glimpse of divine knowledge. And you just took that bait? The most enticing offer. <laughs> An easy lie. Unfortunately, those academics don't know me at all. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. I was, it's obvious that he wouldn't actually be bad. We wouldn't be sitting at a table eating melon with him, right? Turns out he's actually like seventh harbinger, ninth, the twelfth. Their words contained one key piece of information. Namely, that divine knowledge indeed exists. That gave me all I needed to know. How does that know? They could still lie about it. <laughs> That's not true at all. From my perspective, the sages are far from trustworthy. Think about it. Isn't it a little strange they're so willing to share divine knowledge with anyone, even as a reward? Well, to me, it just seems like it's an invaluable. Like, it doesn't mean anything. So, I began my own investigation following the lead of the divine knowledge capsule. In the end, I realized my wisdom in committing to this rather than collaborating with the sages. Okay. Had I been less guarded, I probably would have ended up like that Ainul Ahmar mercenary, incapable of remaining sane for long enough to hold a conversation. Okay. You mean that the sages originally planned to dispose of you, using one of those capsules that drive people insane? What about your encounter with me? Did you join me just so you could investigate? I'd already given up on the assignment by then. I only told the academia I was waiting in Port Ormos for you to appear so they wouldn't suspect anything. Okay, but then what? So it came as quite a surprise when I encountered my erstwhile target while investigating the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Sure. Criminals do love to talk about coincidences. <laughs> Coinky dinks. Even though I ran into the Traveler by chance, I had no intention of providing assistance to the Academia. Also, you should remember. What? You were the ones who decided to follow me and strike up a conversation after I left that tavern. <laughs> okay, sure. That's true. Is that enough to prove his innocence? That's true. I'll hate them helped us out at Caravan Rebot as well. Maybe he's telling the truth. Look, he's got a vision. The gods trust him. Odds are we could trust him. Maybe that's super bad reasoning. That's probably awful reasoning. I'm willing to apologize, if that's worth anything to you. Nah, it's okay. Keep your apologies. I took the Divine Knowledge Capsule behind your back because I judged its existence to be a significant risk. I felt that it would be best for no one to interact with it before it had been properly studied. Well, to be honest, we kind of we got stuck in a samsara after us. So we were just sleeping the entire time. They could have just taken it off our body. So I'm pretty happy he took it. <laughs> after all, <laughs> what do you wheeze? curiosity often proves to be the most dangerous thing in this land. Uh huh. You should be well aware, Scribe Al Haytham, that curiosity can also lead you to danger and suspicion. Sure. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? No. Have I not made myself clear? You and I are both distrusted by the academia. <laughs> Brothers in arms. Do you really think they would tell me anything? Fine. Although you haven't completely proven your innocence, I won't regard you as an enemy. For now. <laughs> as you wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to see you two clearing up your misunderstandings. See, you were friends from the beginning. And now you, Dia. I believe it's your turn. Yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, sorry. Whatever the boys were talking about must have been so <laughs> boring that I spaced out. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Ahem. <clears throat> My situation is pretty straightforward. My employer, Dunyarzad of the Homiyani family, is friends with the Traveler and is currently recovering from her illness at home. Okay, so you're stalking us. I had nothing going on, so I decided to return to Aru Village for a visit. I was actually looking forward to a pretty exciting time getting back together with everyone here. Well. But then I saw these two random guys in the middle of a pointless argument. Uh... It ticked me off, and things went downhill from there. <laughs> it wasn't that pointless. Is that all? Well, I will admit that definitely sounds like your style. In that case, welcome back, dear. <laughs> That's more like it. I missed you all so much, Candace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what? What do you mean? Are these the sandstorm monsters? Rich Boland spirits? Whoa! What was that sound? Ah, uh, a demon. No need to worry. Now that you're no longer at each other's throats, please make yourselves at home. I'll take a quick trip outside to clear out some of those creatures in the sandstorm. She's so such a boss. C creatures in the sandstorm? Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure you don't want some backup? I'd love to help. Fighting I want to see. Fighting in a sandstorm them. is not for the faint-hearted. Anyone without extensive training in these conditions is at a disadvantage. You needn't worry. Can I please yeah, watch? Yeah, just leave him to Candace. <laughs> don't worry. She's as tough as they come. She's HP scaling. I know now. After a while, the winds outside begin to calm. We didn't see the fighting. I'm so sad. The winds died down. That means the sandstorm's over, right? Maybe. Candace still isn't back yet, though. Is she all right? Maybe we should go out and check on her. I will, right now, actually. When you put it that way, even I'm starting to feel a little worried. All right, let's go. Let's go. We've been here long enough, and the boys are as chatty as the floor. <laughs> I love it. I actually love it. Wait, this this is super pretty. I'm afraid we'll never get back in here after, which is a shame. It's invincible fire as well. Candace! Take it easy. Candace! Okay, they are just the wolves. I didn't want to say because it sounded so boring. I kind of wish it was some special oh, enemy. Candace, you're still fighting? You've been out here dealing with these creatures the entire time? <laughs> Watch her not even be exhausted. Yes. Okay, she's a bit exhausted. They just keep coming in waves. I've lost count of how many I've defeated. Before I realized it, even the sandstorm had stopped. <laughs> not only is she really strong, her stamina is also something else. Tell me you have, like, infinite sprint. Ah, here comes another wave! I'll deal with this one. <laughs> Leave this round to us. Yes. I got interrupted earlier, but now I have something to take my anger out on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dia cutscene or Dia trial? Please. <laughs> It's been quite a while since I've seen the flame main in action. The Dragonborn. I'll leave these to you then. I'll be Exciting. sure to put on a good show. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, trial? Cutscene. Trial. Cutscene. Trial. No. Gotcha. <laughs> Neither of them. Grant us your blessing. What is what did that do? I'm so tanky. I don't know what she did. <laughs> There we go. Here comes another wave! When are they ever gonna let up? How can you call two things a wave? There we go. The creature stopped appearing. Uh-huh. Was that the last of them? No. What we fought just now was probably the aftermath of the sandstorm. So we should be safe for the time being. If you say so. Well fought, everyone. No injuries, I hope. Ah, uh, is this the chief of the village whose house we rested in? Huh? Who are you? Hey, be respectful. Ah. My apologies. I haven't had a chance to greet you yet. I had my hands full <laughs> taking care of the village's elderly and children. I love this guy. I love this. Like, he's got different hair, different stash, different clothes. I love it. I am the chief of our there it village. Is. Everyone usually calls me Uncle Anpu. It's a pleasure to meet you, Uncle Anpu. Sorry for all the trouble. Sir, I am also originally from the desert, but I have not been back for some time now. May I ask if such sandstorms are common? I can't say they've always been common, uh, but recently the storms have become increasingly severe and frequent. It's that triangle thing that I showed that I showed you guys when I was gliding here. That thing in the background with the primo gem in the middle definitely has influence. Besides sandstorms, we also occasionally get earthquakes. <sighs> Uh, according to I an investigator them. who stayed in the village a while ago, these unusual natural phenomena are related to the withering of oh. soul. Oh, that also makes sense. Crazy that it's mostly Sumeru that's being affected by it. The rest of the world doesn't seem to be that bad. Hmm, another effect of soul's withering. Yeah. So, soul's withering causes withering zones in the forest, and sandstorms and earthquakes here in the desert? Seems like it. Everything in the natural world is inextricably connected to Ermensoul. These regional symptoms can indeed be a reflection of Ermensoul's present state. Right. Everyone in Aru village needs to take good care of themselves. Yes, but that's that's also that's always the case, no? Uh speaking of which, why haven't I seen a single village keeper since I got here? Village keeper? Yeah, I was gonna say Who what is that? They? Village guards like Candace? Does your curiosity know no bounds? <laughs> Village Keeper is how Aru Village refers to mad scholars, exiled here by the Academia. <laughs> so at first he laughs at our curiosity, but then he quenches it? Is that how you say it? Most of them are scholars who lost their sanity. 
after a period of training in the Avidia forest. Mm -hmm. The Academia believes that their crazed mutterings may have a negative effect on the psyches of other scholars. Yeah. So, they're forcibly exiled to the desert. Though, if you ask me, it's all a boatload of nonsense. I don't know. Hypatia was also nearly exiled to the desert. Alas, that's exactly what we've been trying to investigate. One by one, the village keepers have hmm. been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. Probably to the army over there that they're making with this new god. But no one in the village has ever seen them leave. If you're planning to stay around the village for the next few days, I'd appreciate it if you could keep an eye out for them. Sure. I've had encounters with those people in the past. I'll see what I can do to help. Cool. The Matra are the ones responsible for their exile. Now that you're no longer with them, are you trying to alleviate your guilt and atone for your past sins? <laughs> I'm fascinated by how you think. <laughs> this is like Kaya Dilu to your rivalry. Mock me if you will, but if you are guilty, I will eliminate you, regardless of my position or identity. <laughs> oh, you're the former General Mahamatra. You must be an expert in these kinds of investigations. Thank you for your help. I'll help too. Is it because you're reminded of Hapasia? No. Oh, these poor scholars. First they lose their sanity, now this! We need to help get them back home, safe and sound! Mm -hmm. But, uh, is it really a good idea to tag along with Sino? You seem like you really don't trust him. Well, it's a great opportunity to watch him. And the and the others are here too. I'll be grateful for the assistance. No doubt you will do a better job than some of my former subordinates. I'm kind of a queen, it's true. Let's start by finding a spot to share what we know so far. Okay. We can't share with these people? Alright. I like this place so much. Very, very pretty. Although I've oh, sent myself this? into exile... Coconut. I'm still doing essentially the same things as before. Uh-huh. Do you still have any questions for me before we start our investigation? Yes. Why did they refer to the Mad Scholars as Village Keepers? One of my former subordinates told me that this title has its origins in a strange incident. Okay. The Academia has long exiled mad scholars to Aru Village. A mysterious phenomenon exists here. Alright. When mad scholars first arrive, they are as incoherent and deranged as before. But, after spending some time here, they invariably begin to calm down. Right. Initially, the people of Aru Village greatly resented having to take in the mad scholars. But a strange incident one night changed that. 500 years ago, a blonde Nara. <laughs> Aru Village was struck by the strongest earthquake in living memory. Okay. Seeing buildings on the verge of collapse all around him, the then chief of the village was preparing to take everyone to safety. Uh huh. Suddenly, he noticed a mad scholar crouching in a corner, caressing the ground with his hands. A soft, green light radiated from him, like a divine glow against the backdrop of night. Nahida. Despite the powerful tremors that ripped through the ground that night, all the houses remained upright, almost as if they had grown roots reaching deep into the <laughs> ground. In the end, not a single building collapsed, and no one was hurt. That's great. After that, the people of Aru Village treated the mad scholars with greater kindness and began to hmm. refer to them as the village keepers. It really sounds like Nahida would have done that for them to treat the other people nicer. The soft green light? A mad scholar protecting Aru Village? Hmm. What do you make of it, Traveler? I spoiled it. It must have been Nahida. Only she's capable of doing that. Paimon thinks so too. Actually, Sino. Do you know if any of the Mad Scholars continued to wear their Akasha Terminals at Aru Village? That's big. In theory, they would continue wearing them so the Academia could still monitor their activities. That makes no sense. With that said, get exiled and the main Akasha monitored? system would no longer have any interaction with them. Okay. Oh, no wonder! Everything makes sense then! Add in the fact that they calmed down, it was probably Nahida who calmed them. Mm -hmm. If you are able to draw a conclusion from this one story alone, then it appears you possess much more information than I do. Yeah, let me just quickly fade to black white text you explain everything you know. So, what do you make of the story? Never mind. The Mad Scholar's power likely came from the Lesser Lord Kusanali. Really? Lesser Lord Kusanali? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? You don't believe us? Lesser Lord Kusanali was definitely using the Akasha to give her power to the Mad Scholars! <laughs> no, 
It's not so much that I don't believe you. I'm just struck by your reasoning. We know a lot more than you do, man. Lesser Lord That's Kusunali, why I wanted to fade to black. The current Dendro Archon. Is she really active in Sumeru? She do be saving the world, though. The Academia has always placed far greater importance on the late Greater Lord Rukadevata. I know. They've more or less ignored Lesser Lord Kusanali. I know. And I've never had any reason to doubt their views. Well, because you turned a blind eye, you know? They're probably using Lesser Lord Kusanali's power at this point. In addition, I've never heard any stories about Lesser Lord Kusanali and her deeds. To me, she might as well have been a god that never existed. Yeah, because she's not doing it for cred. She's doing it to save the people. No way! Nahida definitely exists! She's a... How should Paimon put it? She's a good Archon who's kind and wise, even <laughs> if she says weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> she also saved me once not too long ago. And we saved Sumeru City together in the not-so-distant past. I've spent many years interrogating criminals, so I can easily tell when someone is lying. And you can tell I'm not. Good! Then you should know that we're telling the truth! That look in your eyes... <laughs> I've never seen that from a liar. <laughs> you two really must have met Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yes. How can this be? I, you dude, I'm the Traveler, man. To think. Our Archon has been amongst us this entire time. Oh, but this isn't amongst, this is among. <laughs> Alright, now it's our turn to put our skills to good use for this investigation. You betcha. But easier said than done. Especially since we don't have any leads. Maybe we can start by knocking on some doors. Scenic challenge. Excuse me, are you here to help me find my grandpa? Yep, that's exactly what we're here for, actually. Yep, yep, that commission. Can't wait. Huh? Who are you? A child. By the sounds of it, a resident of this village. <laughs> oh, very well seen. My name is Isaac. Hi, hey, Isaac. You'll help me find my grandpa, right? Of course. Is your grandpa a mad scholar? Hey, don't say that. <laughs> grandpa is just grandpa. <laughs> Why do you have to call him that? It's not like he's a bad person or anything. Uh, we know, I was just asking. <sighs> mm -hmm. The person you're referring to is not a local. Yet you are. Why do you call him Grandpa? Grandpa is just Grandpa. He is my family. Mm hmm? I, I heard everything you said to the village chief. Please, you gotta take me with you. I, I wanna find my Grandpa. I, I swear I'll help. I won't be a nuisance. That's a bad idea. You stay home, young one. Ah, so you're the one who was eavesdropping on us around the village chief's house. <laughs> I was planning to go out and take care of whoever it was, but I had a vague feeling that they didn't harbor any ill intent. So much feeling with this guy. Whoa, uh, Hazen wasn't kidding about Matra having sharp senses. Uh-huh. Sino, he's just a kid. All he wants is to find his grandpa. Let's find a way to help him. Well, we're looking for those people anyway. We just, this kid stays home and we'll inform him after. Sorry, I was only listening in because I wanted to know where grandpa went. Honest. If you don't believe me, you can ask Miss Candice. I don't know about this. All right. But first, let's confirm the facts with Candice. Sure. But first, I must <laughs> gather coconuts. <laughs> yes. A Agilenka nut. No. Agilenak. Got a very fun fact for you here. They're not actually nuts. Cool. I got some nuts, guys. You know, guys want to gobble up some nuts together. <laughs> um... Um, I mean, um, anyway, let's, uh, let's go to Candace. She's right here. Candace Nuts, uh, be on the table with the other fruit, going in. As you approach the village chief's house, Sino asks, Sino is super I said something. Vigilant. Is this what all the Matra are like? I'd hope so. Ah, you're back already. Yep. We just wanted to confirm something with you. Do you know a boy by the name of Isak? Newton. <laughs> I had a feeling he'd go looking for you. Okay, well then we can trust him. Let's go. Huh? You knew this would happen? Yeah. Yes. Although he tried his best to stay hidden, I still noticed him eavesdropping <laughs> outside the window. He really wants to get his grandfather back. Actual grandpa? Isak's parents were both Aramite mercenaries who rarely returned to the village after finding employment in the city. Okay. He was raised by his grandfather. Actual grandfather? Unfortunately. It was only a few years before his grandpa passed away. Mm. Isak was still very young at the time, so various families in the village took turns caring for him so he could survive. I see. Later, 
An elderly mad scholar arrived at the village. Mm -hmm. Isak thought the scholar bore a striking resemblance to his grandfather, and thus often spied on the man. Okay, because <laughs> that's what you do, you spy on your grandparents. However, the scholar was unkempt in appearance and incoherent in speech. Although Isak referred to the man as his grandpa, he was afraid and didn't dare to approach him. Okay. One summer night, the oft-mumbling and bumbling grandpa suddenly calmed down and seemed to become more lucid. <laughs> he even noticed Isak hiding in the distance. Okay. So grandpa walked up to Isak and patted him on the head. He even took Isak to the entrance of the village, where he patiently taught the boy the names of the stars. Cool. And accompanied Isak until he fell asleep. Cute. The next morning, Isak woke up and wanted to go find his grandpa again, only to realize his grandpa no longer recognized him. However, even so, grandpa retained his calm expression. Okay. It's said that those who saw the scholar claimed he no longer appeared to be crazy, but appeared to be living in his own world, almost as if he were sleepwalking. Isak was thrilled that his grandpa was able to find peace, and would follow him all the time, asking him things like, Grandpa, want me to take you somewhere fun? Or, Grandpa, could you tell me stories about the stars again? All this somehow just makes Paimon feel really sad. It seems like they both deserve so much better. Well, it's mostly that the story slowed down like crazy right now. I get we need a little bit of emo in it as well, but this has so little to do with what we're on about. Perhaps. Nearly everyone who lives in the desert has some form of hardship or regret. But even so... We must still continue on with our lives. The zoom on his face means he's also had a rough past, for sure. It's also my reason for fighting. I must continue to protect this land. And she too has had a rough past. I wonder why she has two different eyes, though. Could They just couldn't decide. They were like, blue looks pretty good. And yeah, but orange, though. You know what? I'm hiding one eye and looking at her face, hiding one eye. I kind of get, I kind of get it. I think blue eyed would have been better <laughs> if I had to make a choice. Lucid Grandpa is probably Nahida. She must have suited the other mad scholars as well. Yeah, I figured. Hmm. Look on Sino's face. He's probably connected to dots as well. Maybe the people have always had a considerate god watching over them. <laughs> Let's go. Nahida getting representation, finally. Huh? What did you say, Sino? What? Nahida. No, nothing. As long as Esau keeps his word and doesn't get in our way, we can take him along. This is such a Perhaps dumb idea. Perhaps you are more compassionate than I gave you credit for. Please accept my thanks on Isak's behalf, Sino. Alright, back to the desert. I have no- are we just gonna play hide and seek with a bunch of crazy people? Cutscene. Hey, Isak! No, alright, we're bringing you along, Isak. Nothing you wouldn't know because you spied on us, right? Oh, it's you guys! See, he's excited, he knows. We've cleared everything up! Let's go find your grandpa! Really? Wow! Thank you so much! Yeah, no problem. Your grandpa will be found safe and sound. Yeah! Alright. Let's ask the local residents some questions first. Exciting, exciting stuff. Chapter 3, Act 3, I just ended. A dream's emptiness deception. There's more. Okay, that was pretty crazy. I, uh, last time, did both quests in one sitting. I think at this time we're gonna do it again. Although I did take a nice little break. Look at me using my brain and uh, making an outro and then an intro for the next part as well. I hope you enjoyed this act, Act 3. So much lore. So much stuff. So many cutscenes. This one was ridiculous. I enjoyed it a lot. It slowed down a lot at the end, and it's probably gonna be a slow start for the start of Act 4 as well, which is kind of a shame, but hey, it's okay. We'll get used to it. I don't really know what to think. I feel like I, I, there's now Scaramouche is involved in the mix, Dator is involved in the mix, Nahida is kind of like more or less in danger, but what are we doing? We're helping some kid find his grandpa, because that's the priority. <laughs> Either way, super excited to get started with the next part. I'm going to record it right now. For you, it'll be out in a couple days probably. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you there. Take care. Bye-bye.